you know what is a point source of light well can you tell me this bulb is a point source of light or not well no we all can see that this bulb is not a point source of light so what will it be called well it will be called extended source of light extended source of light is any source that is not a point source of light now tell me is this candle an extended source of light well you can see that this is not a point source of light so this source of light is not a point source that is why it will be known as extended source of light now see what we are doing here is we are lighting a candle now this is an extended source of light you can see in no time the shadow formed this is a ball this is the candle so this candle is acting as the extended source of light this ball is acting as the opaque object and we have the screen to form the shadow now you can see that the shadow is formed now you know, know that the shadow can have two parts umbra and penumbra here you can see that when the shadow is formed it is having both the umbra and penumbra one thing that you notice that the source of light here is really small and it is smaller than the object itself when this light is really small now this is extended source of light as well as smaller than the opaque object so now it must have some different characteristics so let's see what are the characteristics of the shadow formed when the extended source of light is smaller than the opaque object well the first thing that we notice is both umbra and penumbra are formed you can see whenever the shadow is formed when the extended source of light is present and it is smaller than the opaque object then you will see both umbra and penumbra are formed the next thing let's notice is that umbra is larger in size than the penumbra look at it you can see the size of the umbra is larger than the size of the penumbra now the next thing is that if the light source is moved towards the opaque object what are we doing we are moving the light source towards the opaque object so in other words we can say that we are decreasing the distance between the source of light and the opaque object that is the ball so what happens when we decrease this distance you can see the shadow is getting bigger so the size of the shadow is increasing now what about the two regions umbra and penumbra what do you observe well you can see that the size of both umbra and penumbra is increasing see see umbra is also increasing and penumbra is also increasing so both are increasing now i am doing the opposite thing what i am doing is taking away the candle or taking away the source of light from the opaque object that is the ball so i am increasing the distance between the light source and the opaque object so what difference do i observe in the shadow when the shadow is comparatively getting smaller now what about umbra and penumbra look at them the penumbra is decreasing in size and the umbra is also decreasing in size so you can see both of them are decreasing in size so we can say if the light source is moved away from the object that is the distance between them is increased then the size of both umbra and penumbra decreases so you can see that both their sizes are decreasing now the other thing is what we are keeping the candle at, at its place and the ball at its place we are moving the screen now now we are, we are moving the screen towards the ball so you can say we are decreasing the distance between the opaque object that is the ball and the screen so we are decreasing this distance what difference do you observe in the shadow when well, the shadow is obviously getting smaller now what about umbra and penumbra well the size of both umbra and penumbra decreases notice both umbra and penumbra is decreasing well the umbra is decreasing comparatively lesser than penumbra but you can say that both umbra and penumbra decreases when the distance between the opaque object and the screen decreases now let's do the opposite thing instead of bringing it forward let us take it backward 
what is happening the distance between the ball that is the opaque object and the screen is increasing so what happens to their shadow the shadow is getting bigger so if the screen is moved away from the opaque object the size of both umbra and penumbra increases is it so see the shadow is getting bigger let's see the umbra notice the umbra it is getting bigger as well now what about penumbra it is also increasing in size so you can say whenever we increase the distance between the ball that is the opaque object and the screen the size of both umbra and penumbra increase making the shadow larger so what did you learn whenever the light source that is the extended light source is smaller than the opaque object there are some characteristics of the shadow first of all both umbra and penumbra are formed the shadow has two regions now in this case both those regions form umbra is larger in size than the penumbra this will always be the case when the light source is smaller than the opaque object the size of the umbra will be larger than the size of the penumbra if the light source is moved towards the opaque object the size of both umbra and penumbra increases and vice versa we have just discussed this case and saw it visually now if the screen is moved towards the opaque object the size of both umbra and penumbra decreases here the distance is also decreasing and the shadow is also decreasing making the umbra and penumbra decrease and vice versa that is you increase the distance both umbra and penumbra increase